Okay, Debbie. You got this. So, there were only three men and one woman at the, um, on their team, right? Uh, boy, I think so. They're... So who are these guys? Maybe they had a different team? Hmm. That's a bit suspicious. Yes, it is. Well, and look, we we got too much suspicious things going on to worry about any one. Oop. Saying this, these have a little more fight in them. Yeah. Let's see if I can figure out what they were doing here. Uh, we have some survey devices and hmm. wow, that is a weird looking truck. Yeah, it is. Okay. Ah. Debbie, this is this is kind of weird. Yeah. So, um, up until well, recently, there weren't really any substantive records of what had happened here. It just said that this place had gone under quarantine on um, October thirtieth, two thousand twelve. Okay, we need that already. Yeah. Well, it kind of back to the future on us. Right now, it doesn't say that. It says that the situation became untenable and they had to institute the Exodus Protocol on uh, April 11, 2013. Wait, that's the same time I tried confronting Beaumont, but five years ago. That has to be related. That also means this place, this entire island, is already dead. Well, it's already dead now. But it might not already be dead in the future past. You're right. That means... That means things can be changed. Yeah. I mean, that's really bad. I mean, apparently I fucked up, but... You can unfuck up. Yeah. If I fucked it, I can unfuck it. Yeah. I fucked myself into this problem, I'm gonna fuck my way out of it. No. No, Debbie, no. <laughs> it's an onion headline. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's find the next device with the data. Hey, this guy's carrying it. He's a surveyor, so stands to reason. Yep, there you go. All right, good thing that just fell out of his pocket. Uh, now let's check this. Uh... And the last one seems to be over here somewhere. So, up. Uh, oh. Okay. Hey guys, you looking for them with the quarter notes? I can help you. <laughs> okay, where is this going? This one's. I think this one would have been. This guy would have been carrying the last one, but. Did he stick his hand under a boulder? Uh, oh. Oh, come on. I gotta lift the boulder and get this stick into his hand. How do, how do you do that? Debbie? Yeah? If he stuck his hand under the boulder... Yeah? Then where'd that streak of blood come from? And where why is it going? 
off a cliff. But, um... Special assignment received. Initializing. Because, uh... Oh. Oh. And that's why you always leave a note. <laughs> ah. Okay, these... What the fuck are these? These are deep ones. We dealt with them before, remember? I... I didn't even notice that they weren't drog. You talked about one of them having a seaweed beard. I thought that was just a weird old-timey seaweed drog. That's... No, these are deep ones. I am... I am... I'm just amazingly unobservant, I guess. Well, I can be pretty unobservant, too. Remember when yeah. I didn't see the pod? I just didn't notice, like... How do I not notice that these things have tails? They were, like, all over me when I was fight when I was trying to, uh... Do the, um... Well, we, we were both on a lot of drugs back then. And there's that giant one that I didn't want to mess with? I didn't get a good look at that. It was... It was big and scary. And I... How do you not notice these things? We all have our blind spots. So now, okay, it's not enough that we have the filth and Mayans and Viking zombies. Now we gotta deal with fucking Dagon. I wonder if the Drog brought them. Uh, maybe. Actually, no, wait, they were helping out the Drog back in one part. I remember they were helping the Drog, so yeah, they're definitely on the side of the Drog. Oh, good. That's what we need here, some jolly cooperation. Oh, my agent's back. Cool. Yeah, way to go, faction recruit. You cleaned up the zombies. You know what? I'm going to give you a second chance in this one. Looks like Madame Roger needs her cat again. You can do it. I mean, to be fair, remember that one time you, 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 know, you tried to save that old lady's cat? Oh, yeah, that demon cat that lady had. Jesus. What is her name? What is this? Franklin. Miss Franklin. Yeah, yeah. that's how you saved old, yeah, old Lady Franklin's cat. That fucked you up. Yeah, that was a demon cat. I mean, are you, are you being literal or... Uh, I don't know. Okay. It was probably just a regular cat, but it was also a demon. Yeah, as as is the way of cats. The Nameless Bridge. Wait. How did I never notice that? You know, actually, that was like one of my university. There was the Nameless Hall. But then, like, doesn't it have a name? Well, they, like, took the name off of it because it was a Confederate guy. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. And then they were, like, trying to debate about who, what they should replace it with, and then just never got around to it. And, yeah, after a while, people just started calling it the name, Nameless Hall. We just we should just call it a don. <laughs> Nobody's gonna uh, get that. I don't think I got it. It's from Planescape Torment. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I really believe you guys are our only hope. We have a name for you. Did you know that? Back at the CDC, the bees. That's what we call you. Don't cool. Lie. Yeah. And we keep records. Oh, I can tell you. Whole floor related to <laughs> the bees. I don't know what's But there. how would they know that? Have clearance, but I can see Better not to ask. Whole floor. If I ever get back home, that's what I want to work on. I want to pick you guys apart. Uh -huh. Of course, I'm not talking okay. about uh. bees or anything like that. And anyway, do you guys even die? Yeah. Boy, I'd love to be a bee right now and buzz, buzz away. We we kind of die. We don't. It, we can die, but it doesn't. But it, most of the time, it doesn't stick. Yeah. 
Also, man, remember when they were actually taking the names of Confederate people off of things? Oh, yeah, those were good days. Yeah. Oh, God, but now they probably put it back on. Oh, God, let's not even... Let's stay here in 2012. Let's stay here in 2012. Yeah. When Obama's president... And goddamn style, they'll never die! Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck it, yeah, let's do that one again. Okay. <laughs> Only twice, though. If you do it three times, you actually summon Psy from the Netherworld. Should be careful about that, though. Yeah. So I need to get in here, too. You gotta leave the door open next time. It automatically closes. Oh man, that's actual good security. Yeah, from a right sheet, go figure. Okay, zero nine four three four three seven eight six. Mm -hmm. I want to remember this. There's some more in here that I thought I needed to take a look at. Yeah, it's always good to go poking around the Orochi camp. Oh, someone's camera. Okay. Come up later. Look at this unattended laptop here. We have a host of employees. Whoa. I can't know every one of them by what? name. Oh. I do, however, yeah, that. know that you are not one of them. These encoded transmissions you've been sending back to your little club. It's been educational. You forgot who owns the networks, who created the cryptography. You Ooh. are trespassing. You are in violation of contracts signed in blood. You are breaking binding agreements made in Venice. Mm. The council tends to frown upon such things. Oh. As do I. And I am both less forgiving than the council, and much better armed. Okay. I'm also a reasonable man. It mm. doesn't have to become ugly. Shall I continue? Yeah. This operation is officially a liability, and I am soon terminating it. But that leaves me with an embarrassing problem. And unless this problem is handled quickly and carefully, it will become your problem. This pertains to the containment of the so-called Subject Zero. You've already stolen enough sensitive information from me to appreciate what is involved. Deal with it. And we never had this conversation. Nor would you feel its repercussions. Okay. I truly couldn't make a fairer offer. Okay. What kind of accent was that? Sounded like, I don't know, Bella Lugosi. Or, like, sounded like every Dracula accent ever. I was thinking, like, if you're watching Highlander and you take both uh, Christopher Lambert's and Sean Connery's accents and try to do them at the same time. Physically exposed subjects suffer 51% mortality rate. Of the 49% that survive, 98% become ultraviolent. 79% grow tentacles. 81% hear whispers. 97% complain of jet bad dreams, 13% piss black blood, 82% experience height, height and motor functions, 42% are women. Wait, that's not what? related. That... Okay. 90% uh, <laughs> hunger for chocolate, 27% complain of multiple consciousnesses, 59% kick things at random. Don't think the Orochi know the difference between an independent and dependent variable. Incomplete. Hmm. Okay, then. Oh, wait, go. Can you look, look back? It looks like a little face. 
Oh my god, it does. This is the two Orochi eyes and a mouth like, ooh. So let's hear about the subject zero. That's probably what broke out of the um, mm-hmm. out of the containment cell in the uh, science building. Yeah, we that's a loose end we got to tie up. Subject origin Tokyo. Oh shit. Area of study: variations of the filth and the effects of localized filth on infected from other locations. The subject was sluggish on arrival, no doubt suffering the effects of the long flight and the chemicals pumped into its body. After a few hours of what appeared to be sleep, the subject started to thrash. The words were garbled Japanese. I'm sorry, I just pictured just suddenly listening to, to like, really pumping speed metal. I have sent them for a translation. I'm still waiting the answer. Subject has become increasingly agitated. No food or drink has been supplied, but even so, the subject seems to be gaining in strength. What is most interesting is that the subject is now babbling in English. Our records indicate no prior knowledge of the language. It is almost as if someone or something has been speaking directly to the subject. The applications of filth in everyday life could be staggering. If the adverse effects can be controlled, the subject still has moments where they turn towards the southwest and mouth words as if listening to a hidden voice. We've lost contact with our operations in the quarry. Perhaps the subject is a way of sensing occult events? Hmm. Okay, so escape, they didn't actually log anything for it. But uh, I guess the southwest and the quarry is pretty much a check. Mm hmm. Maybe, like, put some duct tape on the door so when you come back, you can just open it. Hmm. I'll find some duct tape. I'm trying to give it a try. But, wait, I think they would notice and they'd probably um, remove it. Oh, that's... This place. We've been here before. I don't remember the filth wisps. They were here. I'm gonna find out more about those sometime. It's on my later list. Yep.